Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Brain Health Series. Uh, many thanks to KSB Community Wellness for the opportunity to be able to speak to you tonight about taking care of your brain and some important aspects of brain health. My name is Carla Belzer, and I'm a family life educator with the University of Illinois Extension. And it's been my sincere pleasure to partner with KSB to bring brain health programming to the Dixon area for the last several years. And tonight I'm excited just to share with you a few of the things that you can be doing every single day to take care of your brain. Now, when someone asks you what you think about health or when you think about health, uh, wellness or even fitness, you tend to think about physical health, exercise and nutrition. And often as we get older, we concentrate on improving those things and maintaining our physical health when the fact of the matter is, is that we should be giving just as much attention to taking care of our brain. It is important to know that everyone forgets things now and again. Episodes of absent-mindedness happen throughout our life, but with advancing age, we tend to pay attention to those little memory slips, to those episodes of forgetfulness. It's important not to dwell on it, and there are things that we can be doing to make sure that our brain is healthy and strong throughout our life. So I do want to share with you also that if you do have concerns about your memory, you should definitely talk to your healthcare professional. And if you only remember one thing from our time together tonight, I hope it's this, you are never too young or too old to start taking care of your brain. So I wanna start just by sharing a few uh, fun facts about the brain. Your, your brain is only about three pounds it's made up of about 75% of water, and it has about 100 billion, with a B, brain cells or neurons. And for each one of those neurons, there are thousands and thousands of connections to other neurons in your brain. So our brain is a very vital organ. It's a very important organ, and it is something that we should aim to take care of every single day. Okay, so there are some things that you can do to take care of your brain. And there's many things that your brain can benefit from. I like to call these the big six. These are the six things that we should aim to do every single day to take care of our brain and to make sure it's nice and healthy and strong. And we're gonna talk about each of these just in a little bit of detail. So the first one is getting enough sleep. We know that it is important that a healthy brain is a well-rested brain. Sleep affects both our mental and our physical health. And adults need an average of seven to eight hours of sleep every single night. It helps us focus better. It helps us solidify memories. It can improve our concentration. It also influences our mood. So some things that we can do to maintain our quality sleep is to have a sleep schedule, to sleep in a quiet, dark, comfortable environment. It's important that we avoid exercise right before bed. We don't want to get all ramped up before we're supposed to be calming our brain and our bodies down. We'd also want to consider limiting electronics prior to bed. Um, so this means television, using screens, using the iPad. Try to limit those so your brain can drift off into a restful, more comfortable state. So the next thing that we can do to take care of our brain is by what we put into our bodies. I like to say a healthy heart is a healthy brain. We know that brains need lots of fuel and research has shown that a heart healthy diet is also a brain healthy diet. What you eat can have short term impacts on things like concentration and focus, as well as longer term effects on how your brain grows and develops. So we want a, to focus on a balanced diet. I like to say, try to eat a rainbow. So try to eat things that are rich in vitamins and minerals, healthy fats, proteins, et cetera. So all of those things are very important into maintaining not only our physical health and our heart health, but also the health of our brain. And don't forget to stay hydrated. While coffee and tea are okay choices, water is really the best choice for maintaining your overall brain health. You guessed it, one of the great things that we can do to take care of our brain and make sure it's vibrant and strong is to keep moving. Um, physical exercise is just as important for our brains as it is for our body. 
And what kind of physical activity you do and how much, it is pretty simple. Experts recommend minimally 30 minutes or more of aerobic activities three times a week. And these activities should be things that you enjoy. So, you know, consider things like gardening and biking or swimming, even just walking at your regular place has been found to be more beneficial than not doing anything at all. And again, your brain benefits when you are physically active. It helps protect against nerve cell death. It promotes the growth of new brain cells. It helps maintain those connections or pathways between the brain, the, between the different brain cells. So get up, get moving, keep moving, because it's not only good for your body, it's also good for your brain. Speaking of uh, taking care of your brain and thinking about things that are good for your brain, managing our stress is also incredibly important. We can't escape stress, it's in our lives. Um, the best thing that we can do is to mitigate it, to manage it as best we can. Because research has shown that chronic stress creates long-term changes in brain structure and function. So while we can't get rid of stress in our daily life, we can do things to help manage our stress. So think about what are those things that help you de-stress? Um, it's very important that we take a, a chance or take a step every single day to examine how much stress we have and to do one thing that helps us release that stress. Um, it can be, it can boost not only our mood, um, but we can help teach our brain how to st uh, handle stress more effectively. So things like exercise or meditation, even deep breathing, listening to music, um, visiting with friends, anything that you can think of to help reduce your stress is good for your brain. Speaking of friends, leaning on your social supports. So having social and emotional support also contributes to our brain health. These interactions don't need to be formal. Just having contact is what's important. So make sure that you're maintaining those friendships and those social connections. Uh, it really is uh, a very important and often overlooked uh, part of maintaining a healthy brain. So go out to lunch with your friend, visit over a video call, um, make a phone call, do the coffee club in the morning at McDonald's, anything that you can do to stay connected uh, to those around you. And then finally, and probably my favorite one to talk about, is giving your brain a good workout. So research demonstrates that stimulating your brain with a variety of new and increasing levels of challenging activity helps it stay healthy and strong. So you should choose challenging activities that are of interest to you so you stick with it. But also another hint is that if you become very good at a chosen activity, you need to take it up a notch to make it a little bit more challenging. So if you love crossword puzzles and you're a whiz at them, but you're getting them done lickety split, you probably need to make those, those activities a little bit more challenging. So with that, those are the six things that you can do to take care of your brain. But I want to just introduce you to our WITS workout, WITS wellness, WITS fitness. We have all sorts of different names for it, programming that we do every single month in conjunction with uh, KSB Community Wellness. Um, I'm the class facilitator, and each month we meet together for about an hour and experience different brain challenges together as a group. So I have just some samples for you tonight that I'd like to share with you um, so you can see what you do, we do in class. We try to focus on the different aspects of brain health and things like focusing on recall, critical thinking, spatial reasoning, focus and attention, and even language um, areas of the brain. So our brain really gets a nice, good workout. So the first example that I have is just a word wall. This is a, a re type of a recall challenge. We would look at this and then take it away and we'd ask you to recall all of the items that are on that list. The ne next example I have up is a fast five. This is an example of a critical thinking challenge where you solve these riddles, you solve this, these puzzles um, to exercise those critical thinking skills. We also often do rebus puzzles um, these are another great critical thinking challenge that works at that different area of the brain. And then we also focus on spatial reasoning challenges so we can exercise um, our brain's uh, different areas and really get um, an overall workout for the brain. 
So that's about all the time I have for tonight. I just want to leave you with, um, you know, the encouragement to take care of your brain, to, to continue to engage in life every single day because your brain is worth it. And our brains do need that regular uh, workout, that regular stimulation to stay healthy and strong. And finally, just as a promotion, here is our upcoming classes. We would love to see you at an upcoming class. Uh, all are welcome. Just uh, join us at the KSB Town Square Center at 1 p.m. on these dates. And if you have questions or comments or you'd like this schedule, please leave us a comment in the area below and we will get back with you. Thank you again. And again, thanks to KSB Community Wellness for this opportunity to talk about brain health. Have a great night.